Welcome back, J Fusion fans, to Common Rider City Wars. So, as you may have seen in my previous video, the game announced that they would be shutting down very soon. Now, in this video, I would like to talk about some of the possible reasons why this game is going to shut down while having some gameplay in between. So, this one is a personal reason, but, you know, some of the events don't look as interesting. So, let's take, for example, this current event. So, this is actually uh, just involving Ichigo and Saber. Uh, the one below is called a Revival event. So, you can see Build and Kuga. Now, this one is just a repeat of an event that happened before. That's why it's called a revival. But here we have the actual current event on the top banner. So we're going to do that. And I actually uh, was able to do one mission because the footage just cut. Sorry about that. So anyways, now let me talk about uh, why the events are not interesting anymore. So, you can see here the bonus riders are, you know, characters that have been introduced way before. And, personally, uh, it's no longer interesting because in order to, like, for me to actually record a video of a Kamen Rider City Wars playthrough, I need something new and interesting to show you guys. So, in order to actually show the events, so uh, you need a bonus card, uh, either a finisher or a boost change, but, uh, like, for finishers, mm, I don't, I don't really see anything more interesting to show you. Let's say, for example, uh, you know, Saber's finisher is right here. The bonus card is also a sword finisher, and I think it may have a slightly different animation. It does have a different illustration, but nonetheless, you're still basically using the same finisher. Sometimes for boost change forms, you get different attacks. Now, let's take for example, again, Saber, okay? And his Crimson Dragon form. So, let's say, for example, uh, Crimson Dragon has a sword finisher and then a rider kick finisher. So you get the same aesthetic, just a different style of attack. It's good for variation, but again, there's nothing really new to show. And uh, part of the reason why I really don't post events anymore is because, well, with the gacha, I don't actually get what I n need or what I want often. And I understand that. Uh, this is a gacha game. You don't always get what you need or you want. But because of that, I don't have any content to show you specifically. Yeah, so speaking of which, you know, I mentioned gacha anyway. So this next factor is actually uh, inspired by a video posted by Leon Channel. Now, if you guys don't know Leon Channel, he's a Japanese toy reviewer and also one of the biggest Japanese toy reviewers on YouTube. And we have shared a few of his toy reviews in uh, the blogs. So, what he did is... Uh, so, okay. So, the video is in Japanese. So, I'm just going to explain it here. Okay? Uh, what he did was go to a website that monitors uh, the revenue made by apps... And when he saw the results for Kamen Rider City Wars, 
it wasn't earning as much as they had hoped. So they are actually below their target line. So I guess I could say there are some logical reasons why. Now, this is just uh, my presumptions, but again, to me, these are the most logical I can think of. So, first and foremost, an app like this is geared towards children, okay? I do believe most of the players who play this game are kids. And with that said, kids don't usually have the money to uh, spend often on gotchas, you know? Perhaps if they do have access to their parents' uh, credit cards, but I'm pretty sure they don't compared to American kids, for example, like uh, they don't usually access their parents' credit cards. So actually, some word of advice anyway. So if you do have uh, kids, make sure that your credit card is not linked to your phone. And once your kids figure out how to access that, uh, you know, once they figure out how to use credit cards, uh, you may find yourself one day having uh, such a big debt to your account. So please be careful with that. So, yeah. So, again, uh, to summarize that, so one of the factors that I think uh, the game isn't really earning as much as they'd hope is that most of the players are kids. And they don't have, you know, they don't usually have the money to spend. Now, uh, another reason for... Uh, this uh, lack of income or revenue for the game is free-to-play players just like me. Ever since this game came out almost four years ago, I have never, ever spent a single yen on this game just to buy Hero Stones. And yeah, that's you know, basically just it. The The main reason that you would actually spend money on this game is just to buy hero stones. So compared to a lot of, like, Western games that uh, have a gacha-like system, like, let's say Fortnite, for example, uh, sure, uh, you spend uh, money, you spend on V-Bucks, and then, uh, well, there are lots of things that you could get, like skins, for example. But uh, for this game, again, you really don't have a lot to spend on. Or you don't have a lot of items that you would spend on anyway. Just the hero stones. And let's say, okay, so let's open up the gacha page for now. And... Uh, Last time, so we only have two banners, uh, the normal banner, which is the one below, and the current event gacha, which is uh, Saber and uh, Kamen Rider Ichigo. So yeah, just a rider kick. According to this, this is a boost change EX, but I really don't see any difference. And then Kamen Rider Saber, yeah, Kain Jujizan, so Kain Jujizan. And this is just a different illustration, but the same uh, finisher of animation as the one you saw earlier. And then you also have uh, Kabuto here, uh, Kamen Rider Kabuto's uh, Hyperform. So... Another Kamen Rider Ichigo kick, and then this is, yeah, another 
Ichigo kick. So you can see that there are not really there aren't really any there's not much new here. So you probably would just need the you know hero stones. So this is a special gacha. So this one is for Blades King Lion Senki. So this one is the recently added edition. Uh, this one is the recently added card or gacha. But yeah, uh, I am definitely not into that. So yeah, free to play because you do have a lot of opportunities to get uh, hero stones anyway. So let's actually go into the shop and... Uh, so the shop is here. So again, hero stones. Okay. So this is actually the only uh, hero stone set that you can buy at 120 yen. Gets you six pieces of hero stones. Uh, ever since the game announced that they would be shutting down, so they removed everything else. Except for this one. So back then you are actually able to purchase more hero stones. But then again, not a lot of people would buy hero stones anyway. So, you know, let's get into an another reason why people wouldn't spend. So anyway, uh, yeah, you can see here there are also other uh, items. But this one you can, uh, this is purchasable using your regular hero stones so uh, not really much cash involved here but yeah the only reason to spend money on this game is to buy these hero stones but the other shop uh, for other items like exp up or drop rate up so yeah you can just buy these with the hero stones you can collect for free either by playing quests or Log in bonuses. All right, going into another factor why this game isn't really receiving enough money. Now, I do think that last year really hit this game so hard in terms of revenue. So ever since the pandemic began, you know, a lot of people, let's face it, many people have lost their jobs. And I am pretty sure that there are people who play this game that have either lost their jobs or their incomes were severely hit. So buying hero stones would be the last of their worries. So yeah, their spending capabilities have been hit. It doesn't... Like, personally, it doesn't bother me. Like, uh, the pandemic uh, wasn't really a problem for me because I'm a free-to-play guy anyway. So, uh, I don't have to worry about spending money on this game because I never did. So, yeah. Uh... There, those are just the, some of the reasons why I think this game is going to shut down. But nonetheless, if you look at this, you know, it's really nice. The animations are good. I really don't have any major issues like bugs or anything. This really feels like you know, a game that's at least made for a handheld game system. You know, look at those graphics. Really nice for what they are. They do have voice acting, uh, most of them from the original actors, so 
like for example, Kamen Rider Lengo's voice is voiced by his original actor. See, I got free gems and uh, free hero stones. Again, no need for me to buy. No. There you go. So, yeah. I'm really not sure how long I could play this game. Uh, the re Again, the current event is not interesting at all. Could probably just uh, collect the hero stones from the event and that's going to be it. Like... I really don't care anymore. <laughs> so you can also collect like special medals through events and then uh, try to pull for the gacha, uh, special gacha here. But uh, yeah, th that's really just optional and not uh, part of the actual event. So yes, uh, again, uh, as for this game, I'm not really sure if uh, I could still continue posting about this one. I'll probably wait for the next event. If it's gonna be any fun, then I would probably post it. But if it's not, then no videos, I guess. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. As always, please do leave a like comment, share this video, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and hopefully if there's uh, anything interesting, I'll see you in the next Kamen Rider City Wars video. Bye-bye.